Uh, welcome to episode 5, I think. I know I'm like super late on an upload. Hey, shut the door so you don't get out. Super late on an upload, but uh, just for a quick recap. So, um, we learned that this guy called Mark Sarang basically has been telling people to, um, disconnect themselves from the, from the living world. And that's because this thing called the Ark apparently just uploads, well, your consciousness or whatever to the Ark, which is pretty grim. And this room belonged to a one Robin Bass, who, if y'all don't doesn't remember, was the robot just outside the place. And now we go into Martin Fisher's room. I had to kind of restart a little because for some reason it started me like all the way back before we actually got into here. That wet sound is so gross. Ugh. Let's just shut that. Oh, hello? Who was that? It wasn't no human. I don't trust this. Not one bit. <laughs> this just seems super... Just... I totally didn't jump. Y'all have no proof? Or anything. Let's take a defensive uh, It's not that scary. It's not that scary! Ooh, that's blood. Maybe. Pneumatic seal, emergency. Listen to the diaries. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Comrade killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. 300 pounds? I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Jesus, and yeah, quick reminder, so she's part of the project that kind of helped make the arc. But this guy, Mark Sarang, that we mentioned, he just he just kept telling people to kill themselves. Like straight up, he told them like kill yourself, and you'll go to the art project. Troubleshoot. Checking for source. Error code. Uh, mainframe or sort of sub level vault. Oh, let me guess. Is that the downstairs dark area that nobody wants to go? Okay, so this is a pilot seat. This is where they did the brain scans, I guess. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try and explain it. So here, here's what they do. This is a pilot seat. They get in, they get log that in on. Basically, it's basically the same machine that we had to deal with before we even got into this underwater hellscape. And then they control the machines, but it looks like the uh, project isn't going so well. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Then the Nami composition type, compressed Nakajima neurograph, continuous time, 
21 milliseconds, captured March 12th, 2014, author Nakajima Shin, subject name Nanami, sex, female, birth, December 11th, 1997, death, July 7th, uh, 2021, nationality, Japanese, Berg. Uh, Pace Fosberg, uh, Compressed Hacker Jim and Dirk Gretton, hmm. Uh, David Munchie. David Munchie, we talked to him. Wasn't that our doctor, right? Captured, Paul Berg, male. And that's us right there at the bottom, Simon Jarrett. David uh, Munchie. How did this... What is author this? Paul Berg, Canadian. So he died way later than us. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates, a legacy scan. What? Simon Jarrett died June 1st, 2015. Here, I wasn't paying attention, so I know the first one didn't have an audio. What about anything else? So I am the only one with an audio file connected to it. And oddly enough, we could erase our data. Post scan, so. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Back to the living? We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, you're getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Last recording, June 1st, 2015. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. What's a legacy scan? Right. They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Curious. Hmm. Curious, curious, curious. What if we erase our data? He's dead, Kat. The real Simon is dead. And I'm a replica of that scan Munchie did, thinking he's Simon. What did you expect? I don't know. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. An explanation? Maybe an apology? Oh, uh, I I'm sorry. Not from you. I, well, thanks, I guess. 
I deleted the file, so hopefully I'll be the last Simon to suffer through this place. Ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. The last Simon. God, it's so dark to think about how many Simons have been down here. Oh my god. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. That's really dark. How many Simons have come down here? Let me guess, you need the same thing too, downstairs? Yep. Everything needs it. Ooh, what are you? This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. And these are all people. Well, they're brain scan anyway. God, this is so dark. <laughs> Especially dark area to come into. Learning that Simon has probably relived this again and again and again. I mean, like, yikes. Like, here's the thing, think about it. Are we really a robot, though? Because our character has, you know, lungs and stuff. They're breathing, they're getting exhausted. And, like, you can hear it, too. Simon is getting exhausted. Thanks, Drawmire. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet. The proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. Um, <laughs> the proxy. Proxy is one. So... Maybe it's just one monster. I mean, that would make, I'm not sure though. The proxy. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, thank you. Please don't come down here. Whatever's banging around. Absolutely not. Oh, I see their feet.
no. I don't like that. No, no, to dead end. Oh my god! Absolutely not, dude. Please reset router. How? Oh my god, the router's all the way in the other room. It's in the red room, I know it is. Apologies. <laughs> oh my god, is the router in the red room? It probably is. That must be so painful too. Okay, I'll be right back guys. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now to go to the red room. Oh, Christ. Climate functional pressure. Uh, how do we reset the router? Kidding me. You're kidding me. That is Terrifying. <laughs> it's like a clicker, dude. How do we reset the router? Like, seriously, how do we reset that? I don't know, is this, is this not the router? I, I'm so confused.
So walking away or towards me? Dude! Are they blind? I feel like, like twice it should have saw me. Are they blind? Five? How do we reach the router? I don't know what to do. That can't be the router. Is it? No, it can't be. I'm so confused. Stop. Ow, okay, it hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. Get out the stairs. Get out the stairs. Get out the stairs. Wow, we can actually hop the railing to get back up. That's surprising. Don't you dare. The legacy scanner read that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template. Oh my that has god. Any password already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is used for. The laboratory terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. How? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Catherine, how? We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. You fire the Dunbat? How, Catherine? Black box beacon. What? What does this mean? Staff. Dude, so we have to go downstairs. Paranoia is enveloping me, dude. Real question How do we reset the router? There's the red room. And then there's the not red room. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, let's think, let's think. So the router, it's not in the red room, so it's probably in the other room. But where would it be? Because it's like a maze in there, basically. So. But it's nice to know that if we get chased, we can just climb back up and escape. Let's crouch real quick, just in case. Maybe... Uh, maybe... 
But I feel a little funny here. Maybe it's in the room we snuck past it the first time. Oh my god, I think I'm really moving at once too. I just want to attract it so it comes over and then goes away. I, my apologies, bro. My apologies. Maybe it's this terminal over here. Maybe I just missed something. My apologies, brother. Uh, yeah. Am I actually looking to your uh, search history? My bad. <laughs> My apologies. I didn't know you were a vor fetishist. <laughs> this game actively makes me want to cry. I think I did it. Get out.
comes. That is a disgusting creature. Climb up, Simon, climb up! Simon! Ah! You are a yucky creature. Oh, that thing is disgusting. You are an abomination. You look. Better have worked. I'm not going down there again. No one enters in Ohio. How come you get to talk to a World War II veteran? Huh, Ezekiel? That's not fair. That's not ah, Stop! So, you're not worried that there are other Simons or Catherines running around out there? Now I am. Jeez, Simon. Some thoughts are better left alone. Jeez, Simon. Thank you for having a genuine question. Uh, okay. Let's go to... Oh, the light actually broke. Let's carry a, um... Cup with us. Protection. We got Booba. Booba. We got... Confucius? Boy, aha! I think if he's just Chinese, I think he is. <laughs> I didn't get scared. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, let's go check here. Local, free, scans, image and read. I can press, uh, I can do this in seconds. Mm -hmm. Got the tune, and read, mm -hmm. Uh, Equo American? What's that mean? Alright, we got Conrad. North Englander. Float tank. That will transfer, copy to none. Scan room. Water filled steel tank, sensory limiter. Better continuation, not necessary for arc. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Uh, uh, network transfer? Okay. Alright, mess with you. Please, Check for shut storage. up. Scan log, Chun, Catherine, uh, Suicide. Oh my god, all these are suicide. Stroheimer, Ripper, I mean, one more death and we're out. Schedule scams. So even though Stroheimer didn't like it, he was still willing to get a scan. Ironic. Scan data. I threw damn near every single one on the floor. Um. Are you not broken? Uh, 
Sure, skip, chip it. Where would I find a good ship? Because these all just seem broken. Where would I find a good ship? Oh. Hello. You need me again? Like, come on. Alright, I'm back. Let's do this. That's our chip scan for data. Oh. Oh, there. Slot, chip one, loading environment data. Yoink. Continue scan data. I'm so confused. Okay, so like, do I just put it here? Slot one, chip, loading environment data. Insert I'm confused. What do I do? I do something with chair. Oh, transfer denied, restricted file. Oh, no, it's probably just this. I'm confused. Oh, here? Ooh. Loading external device. Ooh. Hello. Uh, beach. What does that do? What are we doing? I'm so confused. I don't understand. What am I not getting? So we have this. We get the router. Let's go back to her and see what she says. Someone must have had access to the Dunbat. If you find a scan of someone who knew the security cipher, maybe we can extract it somehow. Extract from what? What exactly am I looking for? Look for the large racks of data chips in the storage next to my lab. Should be plenty to choose from. Find someone who knows the security cipher. None of them work. They're all destroyed. <laughs> Stay calm. So, how do we get stuff we need if everything is destroyed, right? Like, we've already looked. No, no one knows the cipher. They're all destroyed. Let's 
simulation asset, so... I don't understand. Everyone in here is basically busted. I don't get it. I don't... But yeah, there's, no, there's nothing in here that helps. <sighs> I don't get it. And there must be a reason that we can do this, right? Oh, wait. Why are you so complicated? What do I do? Catherine, tell me. Let me put you back in here. A bunch of chips on the floor that I didn't pull out. Am I just being dumb or something? I don't understand. Nothing in here works. What about, like... <sighs> what am I missing? Is it this? No. Seriously, what am I missing? I might have to use YouTube again because I don't feel like having to walk around and having to figure it out. It's like, her room, does it mean like... Like, literally her room or what? Simon would have thought if he knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Going by your reactions, I'd say he'd be pretty upset. So it is in here? Is it not? I'm so confused. <laughs> it's not in there. I don't... I don't get it. It's saying... What?
Okay, so I just figured out what the problem might be. So this level is extremely buggy, and if you haven't noticed, these are missing things. So if I had to assume, because I just looked it up, I'll have to replay from the very beginning of the level and then play the game in a very, very specific way. I'm just gonna go... God, that would suck if it didn't make me redo this all again. Like, that's so stupid. Like, come on, don't make me redo the entire game. Not game level. I'm sitting here confused, and I learned that, oh, it's probably just a bug that's not allowing me from doing this. Maybe, maybe there's something in here, like, in one of these rooms. I'm just gonna check the rooms out, and then in the next episode, I'm just gonna restart the level and try to figure out, like, why it's not working. Because I feel like it would be extremely silly... If this is having a bug because it wants me to play the game in a specific way, that would be extremely silly. Kathleen no doesn't have anything. Uh, here, I'm I'm gonna keep sitting on YouTube because back in that room with all the broken. Video is showing me that there's supposed to be four big tubey things. Which will be really, really silly. I just want the security cipher. Don't make me sit in here. Just let me get the cipher. Of course, isn't a Quaker's O ad. Like, come on. Like, this is so silly, dude. Okay, so there has definitely been a glitch. The room that I have gone to at least three times now, I'll go and show you it. So the game is definitely bugged. Something is definitely not right because in this room, there are supposed to be two other things. There's supposed to be two whole other uh, roundy turny things. It, it looks like the, the entire room is supposed to be full of them. Which is super silly. Like, are you kidding me? You're not gonna let me progress because you have a, a massive bug which gets rid of everything? Now, I'm going to end the episode off here, and then I'm going to come back, like, very soon, just to do this, which is so stupid, so silly. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.